Hello, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I want to do my review for God of War Ragnarok. Um, I just barely finished the game. It took me 19 hours, 23 minutes. I did half of this game on um, uh, Gimme Balance difficulty, and then for the rest of the game, I did the Gimme Story. So you can criticize me for playing it on the gimme story mode all you want but the combat in this game with the camera mix was getting so frustrating that i was literally hating playing this game like i was hating it so in order to be able to get through the rest of the game i i went you know i just did the gimme story thing just just got it done took me 19 hours and 23 minutes do I regret doing that? Not at all. Did it ruin did it ruin my experience? No, not at all. <laughs> not not any more than the game itself could pretty much ruin the experience for you. And to tell you the truth, honestly, if I was going through the the last half of this game on on with, with the with the combat being as frustrating as it was starting to get. Whew, oh boy. Oh boy, man. Man, I probably would have came away hating this game. The very beginning of the game, it's you, you're you're like, okay, okay, whatever. I mean, that's that's cool, whatever. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't really hitting that hard. That first, I mean, that that for that that fight with Thor. I said this in my previews already. That fight with Thor didn't really didn't really do it for me. I do still think that the 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 fight from from uh, Balder was much better this here um the gameplay that i'm showing you right now during this review is during uh the first playthrough with loki i don't know how long this review is going to go through um but i want to make sure uh, let me let me uh, let me fix something real quick but uh, but i want you to know that this may lead to a spoiler uh for you if you haven't finished this game or played it so stop watching now if you don't want to see this spoiler just listen to what i gotta say i won't i won't narrate anything that's going to happen in this but i do want you to know that this could possibly potentially lead to a spoiler a pretty pretty decent spoiler um you know just being able to read the stuff on the screen and stuff i i, I don't want to spoil this game for you because frankly there's just not enough in here well during this this part right here i mean it it is okay yeah so to spoiler warning if you don't want to see what's what's going on in here please just stop just stop watching and just just listen to what i gotta say now i had pretty high expectations for god of war as we all do as we all do this is sony's biggest game of the year and potentially i i would say it's definitely a pretty good candidate for game of the year like like no matter what like this this definitely deserves a a shot at the throne for game of the year now i mean like that's that's what i'm saying do i think it should win um we'll we'll, we'll let we'll let the game awards decide we'll let the game awards decide I played through this game. It took about 19 hours to get 19 hours, 23 minutes to, to go ahead and get through this. I did not go out of my way to do a bunch of the side stuff. Um, uh, I was, I'm saving all that for end game for some exploration is this game here. It, the worlds don't feel any bigger than what they did in the first game. They, they, I mean, you do travel to all of the, all of the realms, but some of them are extremely brief. Uh, <laughs> There, there, there's a lot of filler there. There's probably, I would say a good five hours of filler in the middle. Like, like, in, like after, after you leave after this part right here forward, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of it, a lot of it can really be considered filler. So you could probably strip this down and tell all the story beats and all the stuff probably within 10 hours so yes i do 100 percent think that this could have been a dlc it could have been a dlc but i'm not going to call it a dlc because it definitely can stand on its own for the average sony first party title anywhere from 5 to 20 25 hours like like it does and it works 
Um, the biggest reason I'm not going to call this a DLC is the fact that you can 100% uh, see that there's a lot more um, th th there's a lot more care and detail that went into this. You know, they they definitely did incre increase the visuals, a lot of stuff like that. Some of the newer realms that you're going to go to do look really beautiful. Some of them look. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> I was like, man, really? We're going to see that kind of visuals in here? And and I took some screenshots on my PlayStation and stuff while I was playing. And, oh, man, man. But that ending <clears throat> of this game is what is what did it for me. Like, I was like, okay, that's cool. I like that. Thank you, Sony Santa Monica, for, 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 giving, for giving Kratos for for well I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it i'm just gonna say it's good you're gonna like it if you're a kratos fan if you're a, a treyas fan if you are a fan of god award like i think you're gonna like it like it really did surprise me because there was a lot of hints throughout the game that this was gonna happen and i mean it's like you like you know like you 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 know what's gonna happen pretty much they, i mean they spell it out like a lot how it's going to well, like what's going to happen. So, so when you get there, you won't really be so surprised. It, it kind of just, it kind of just takes a lot of that, uh, a lot of that tension off your shoulders as you're playing the game. Like you're going to, you're going to get to like, you, you'll see what I mean. I mean, I love the way I, I might not have agreed with how, um, some, some of the stuff was done in here, but I think, it, I think it was, a I think it I think I think they did a good job with the ending. Like I'm I'm okay with the way it turned out. Like I'm I'm okay. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> um yes, you can 100% tell this is a PlayStation 4 game. Like like you you can tell there's nothing there's nothing there to really hide that. Like the 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 world and the levels and all of that are built basically on that playstation 4 foundation so there's really not much more above and beyond that that can go so yes this is a very extremely linear linear game with some i'm gonna say light exploration i personally i'm, I'm into more open world exploration nowadays I was really struggling the other day to really get through, to really sit down and get through this game because I was getting frustrated with certain aspects of it. And that's, that's still true now. Like I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. I've, I've, I've gotten through it. I think this is a, I think this is an interesting experience. The combat at certain, like, like early in the game was feeling really sluggish. Um, especially on the higher difficulties, you start playing this on like, give me balance or whatever, where you really need those buttons to work. It, it, it was, it was extremely frustrating, it's freighting, extremely frustrating and jarring a lot. Once I put it into the give me story mode, everything just was, was such a nice, was such a nice experience. It really does. Um, I, I believe this game is meant to be played in give me story, unless you really want that, that frustrating, difficulty of for this game like i just it it didn't feel like this is this is made to be an extremely hard game this is made to be because because seriously there's some settings in here or like some places in here that are going to get pretty frustrating um <laughs> like extremely frustrating so i like i said i don't feel bad about dropping it to give me story that definitely helped progress the thing definitely probably cut down on the time too uh because these guys can really feel like bullet sponges so <laughs> on the harder difficulty so that's pretty good and then they hit like super hard so it's like oh man it can get really frustrating this the first game was like that too but i i was able to get through the the first game on balance on on the balance mode and that was that was fine too so i don't know man like i'm 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 still having some pretty big mixed feelings about this about this experience i'm having mixed feelings about it being 70 bucks i'm having mixed feelings about it being like i said i i, I i'm not going to call it a dlc but i am having mixed feelings about that for sure i i i, I don't know man but in all in all honestly in all honesty i am more into 
open world games nowadays a lot more. These these linear story games are a little bit more. Uh, uh, this is a this is a really good feel good game. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna give this game a solid eight, and I'm gonna call it a really a really good. I was feeling eight literally from the beginning, and yeah, the all the filler stuff in here, the fact that the game can be beaten under twenty hours. Um, I, it's an eight, but it's a really good feel good eight. Like it, it is like this, this is, this is a solid game. I do, I do recommend buying it. I think, I think that anybody that plays this game is going to feel this is my honest opinion. Anybody that feels that plays this game is going to be like, yeah, man, that was good. The, The graphics look good. The, the, the combat look good. You know, I mean, like this. This is whatever. I mean, Crate or Atreus, Atreus's combat is freaking spot on, dude. It's pretty freaking cool. This, this is, um, this is an experience that, like, th- like this is a feel good experience to me in in my mind. Like, this is a feel good experience. Going through it, playing it, just doing all the stuff. Like, like and that's the way the first game felt. The first playthrough, like, it was a feel good. <clears throat> it was a feel good experience. It felt good. And it was, it was like, Whoa, man, this is a good story and stuff like that. Sadly, the story on this one does not hit as hard as the first one, but there are some moments in this game that are going to be like, wow, man, that was, th- th- that's like, it's going to catch you and be like, Oh yeah, man, that was, that was pretty good. <clears throat> and yes, guys, I did go into this game 100% with an open mind with an open mind and you know and, but but i i did you know i came into it you know cautiously optimistic because yeah this game received a lot of hype from a lot of people calling this a masterpiece and all of that stuff this is a I, i'm not gonna say masterpiece but this is a solid freaking experience i'm, I'm i don't want to overhype you and oversell this i i would i would much rather undersell in this review then have you get in here and feel the way I did after after hearing all like he, like seeing all the the hype for all the good reviews like this is a real review this is a real like hey man this is a seventy dollar game like you're gonna buy this game and are you going to sit through and play are you gonna get your seventy dollars worth is is a twenty hour experience worth your seventy bucks you know what I mean like is it worth your seventy bucks so this one here is sitting at an eight for me. It, it, it really is a really good, like, like you, it, it's going to deliver that, that quality movie experience. Like you're either going to love this story or you're going to be like, Ooh, that was kind of, I'm not going to say mid, or you're going to say that was kind of, you know, was it, it could have been better. That's, that's kind of the general feeling I'm getting out of this. It's like, yeah, like some people are going to love this and be like, Oh my gosh, this, this, this is great. But a lot of people are going to be like, okay, like all right, whatever. I mean, I guess that works ish, you know, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not, but it's not great. It's not super great, but it is, it is, it is definitely worth playing. Now I know, I know what a lot of you fanboys are going to say, man, you didn't, you didn't, you just didn't see it. You just didn't see it. Dude, I literally saw it. I think it's a beautiful game. I did finish the rest of it on my 4k OLED. So yeah, it does look incredible on a 4k screen. And it, and it looks good. It holds up really well. Like this, this, the, 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 que- the visuals are not in question on this game. There are some places that you're going to look at and you're going to be like, Oh, well, that doesn't really exuberate the, <laughs> the exhibit, the, uh, <laughs> the visuals of a lot of places like this right here, the snow area that I'm in right now, literally freaking looks incredible. This is so beautiful, but then you'll get to like alpha. I mean, you're like, what the freak? What the heck is going on with that? Did, did they forget to like do the texture pack and the the geometry and all of that stuff? Like you're gonna feel like that in some spots, and you're and it's uh, thank thank thankfully they're very brief, and it's and it's only in a few spots in there. It's seriously, thankfully they're very brief, and I and I mean I I get I get it, you know I mean like why waste all that that extra money and all that time and it, 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 development time to, to fix some of these areas that you're literally gonna be there for like ten seconds. I get it, I get it. It makes sense to me. So while I feel like this game was overhyped, it does deliver on that God of War experience. It will give you the it it will give you 
pretty much the same. If, if you played 2018 and you love 2018, I think you're going to love this one. Like I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident in saying that. Yeah, you'll love it. And it, and it, and it'll be fun, but I'm also, I, I am, I am putting cold water on it a little bit just because of the fact that like, come on, man, come on guys. I know that Sony makes good games, but they're not, they're, they're, they're feel good games, man. This is a feel good game. And so you can like, this is going to deliver. So you just decide when, when you want it to deliver and how much you're willing to pay for it, man. 70 bucks. I don't know, man. It's a PS4 game. It it really is. There's not much to change out of that. It It is, it is a good, it is a good story. The graphics are pretty good. Yeah. This is a solid. Yeah. <laughs> I give God of War Ragnarok an 8 out of 10. <laughs> I know, I know, you guys are probably thinking, it, it, honestly, if the combat would feel better and the camera was it was fixed and I could have played it, played it and enjoyed it on a higher difficulty and, like, really really felt like that challenge and, and like, felt like the challenge was good, yeah, this game would have freaking got a, it would have got a better 9. But, dude, they, they sacrificed, they sacrificed gameplay, for visual quality and that's not a bad thing because it delivers it's beautiful and it's a feel-good game now that's that's exactly what it is so there you go man if you were looking for something that has like fun engaging combat that feels fair and fun nope this isn't your thing but if you're looking for a solid story experience that's going to get you through the weekend freak yeah god of war is god of war ragnarok is your freaking game so with that man I know, I know. Here comes all the, the hate mail, whatever. But yeah, dude, I think I think fair. I, I think eight is a solid is, is fair for this game, one hundred percent. The shock and awe values and stuff. That <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will do another video talking about the ending and talking about some of that other stuff if you guys want to. But I want to give it a little bit. I, I want to give it a little bit of time. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I want to give it a little bit of time, but but we'll definitely do that. So. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.